Hi guys, welcome to this video about this really new option which we have on FlowX with the implementation of some kind of rain viewer radar. I mean, actually, the rain viewer radar is um, an own app or an app on its own and uh, I have it since quite some time because it's the best opportunity to get radar rain radar history that's a really good thing because otherwise usually you get just a couple of hours of rain history and with rain radar I mean the rain viewer radar you get uh, the options of uh, showing 6 hours, 12 hours and up to 24 hours and I think they are working on longer periods as well and it's a really good thing, I mean it's the best app when it comes to rain radar history definitely and now it looks they have implemented this uh, in the Flow X, which is actually the best app for the weather model implementation and yeah let's say let's look how we can Add is they say we have to go to the uh, place I mean just edit place and add data so we go here and yeah that's not it so let's check here oh yeah here it is have you seen that on the right top and we can edit the place yeah, I'm not doing a lot of things here I mean I'm using it every day but I'm not doing I'm not changing the op options every day we just click on the plus sign oh yeah here yeah here we, you can see uh, uh, I think here we have four different type of radar we have radar composite one kilometer four kilometer and we have then the third one from the button that's radar ref reflectivity rain viewer okay why do we have four different types i don't know let's go back and see if we can activate these things so yeah as you can see we have now at the bottom we have these four icons a little bit difficult to find out which one is which one <laughs> let's try on the side yeah it's at least here it says uh, can you see that it says radar radar composite and then it changes to radar one kilometer and radar four kilometer and radar reflectivity yeah there's, I mean there's not much going on now at the moment that's the problem yeah let's move a little bit so when we go back like the last 24 oh no yeah yeah now we can see that do you see that so that's monday uh yeah early in the morning so that's pretty cool i mean that's more than 24 hours back usually the rain viewer has just a 24 hour loop and when we check this thing it's even a little bit more than 24 hours it's about 36 hours back so i don't know if it changes when i change to the one kilometer or composite so i have to play a little bit with that but as you can see there's not much difference so actually more or less with all the four options it shows more or less the same so the the least uh yeah the i mean the the thing which i like the least is the four kilometer yeah it's probably yeah it's 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 just basic not so much difference between high intensity and low intensity but uh, the other things are really good so it looks like yeah the composite is probably the best and yeah that's that's really awesome i mean that's close to 36 hours if i'm not wrong that's an awesome thing so if you like weather 
so now you have everything in one place I mean not only yeah not only the uh, history you have um, not only the future you have also the history here that's an awesome thing yeah that's that's fantastic news I mean I have to check that out how good this really works but it's a good thing so I was usually checking out every day the 24 hour rain history and the future on flow X and now I have everything in one place isn't that awesome that's a crazy thing so that's a big innovation i i really like that i mean of course with the uh you need the premium subscription for rain viewer can't remember how much that is but it now even makes more sense to use the premium for the rain viewer and the premium for the flow x i mean you can use the premium of the rain viewer with the standard flow x i guess or silver or bronze i think i'm not sure if you can use it with the free version because they mentioned in the uh yeah, in this message that uh, uh they mentioned something about bronze or silver yeah the crazy thing looks like it goes also into the future which is actually the HRRR when you see I mean yeah here I have the precipitation from the HRRR and uh, yeah that's history now we are on Tuesday so that's actually that's um, the prediction for this afternoon and you see yeah I mean it's not bad but it's not really accurate i mean not on the single kilometer or mile or so ever so it's not bad and then it's we switch to the nam so when we um do the same thing we disable the uh rain here and we go to the composite the yeah so let's see but it still says NOAA radar composite yeah but anyway let's do that check that out and you can see that's yesterday we go to today I don't know if that already was here you see that that's much better indication where and how strong it will be today so that's much better than just the normal rain from the and we disable that see that so it's strange yeah I mean I uh, know that that's this one does you see that when we activate this new feature here uh, yeah here we have it now radar composite for today that that that's much more detailed whatever that is don't ask me so i'll check on that with the one kilometer even that's still future uh, prediction tuesday yeah let's go into the afternoon for today and we can see about same thing with the one kilometer Don't ask me what that really is. <laughs> Maybe somebody can explain it to me. But anyway, I mean, that's much better prediction than anything else what I have seen. Now we activate the radar reflectivity. Yeah, I need new glasses. I look, <laughs> oh, it's a little bit small uh, letters. So let's go in Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday afternoon and there is nothing so it looks like that is just available for the past so when uh, as i see that okay so yeah it looks like that's the least um yeah beneficial so i go with the comp oh, composite so it really looks it the composite has everything and everything in detail it has the history 
it has the future in really high detail so i definitely like that so the only problem which i really see is when we do the whole range of the past to the short term future and then go to the long term future when we have activated the composite the composite doesn't show any precipitation in the long term future so we have to switch to the uh, precipitation um, uh, yeah button which is on the bottom on the left side very left side and when we go to the left of course then there is not much left uh, regarding precipitation so that's probably just the model history which we which we are seeing here yeah i guess that's the model history so we ca we cannot make a full run from the last 36 hours to the uh, future 10 days with the same thing so when we look at the past and the near future we have to use uh, some kind of radar composite one kilometer four kilometers something like that uh, yeah but it, it it i mean the um radar composite one four kilometer kilometer and yeah they cover just hrr i mean yeah also back which is of course uh yeah just the rain viewer then within the Am I right? Yeah, that's the HRRR. Then it covers also the NAM, which is good, but it doesn't cover the GFS for some reason. So I'm a little bit lost here. So really, when it, it, it stops after the NAM and when it goes into GFS, you have to switch to the precipitation. Um, yeah, to activate the precipitation. Otherwise, you won't see any any forecasted precipitation so when you are within NAM you have both and of course when you are within HRR and NAM you have both models just the normal view with the precipitation or you can activate composite which shows a definitely a more detailed picture but I can't really tell you what model these are based on yeah uh that's it for the moment maybe uh if i find a lot more about this some hints and tips and tricks or whatsoever i mean i just started with that but it looks impressive for me so yeah i'll do a, an another video maybe in a couple of weeks or months or so let's see for that so i, I still hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write in the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about new things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time